Hello, my name is Mariana Leslie. I'm with PCS Students at Work, You're Hired. And today, we're at Duke Energy learning about different careers. Through a four session uh, internship where students participate on four different occasions, touring Duke, talking with Duke employees, and then the culminating activity will be the students will do a presentation about what they learned, uh, how it may have changed their perceptions of uh, their career goals and what, they, what their aspirations are. And this is very important for us as a company because when you think about Duke Energy, folks think about the lines on a pole and the switch to the light in their house. No one really knows all the intricacies that are taking place in between those two points. So as you know, our, our district vision is 100% student success, and that includes having every student prepared for college, career, and life. And so this is one of a number of programs we're rolling out to help sort of bridge the gap for students who maybe uh, haven't had a chance yet to engage in career technical education. And then you know, nighttime come around, what happens at nighttime? The street lights come on, so it's going to pick up a little, oh, I didn't and think then the it's going to start to drop back off. Um, it inspired me because even at school, like I'll see it like, say we have a presentation, you'll, you'll know and you'll talk to your friends and they'll be like, oh, I'm scared to do this because I don't want to fail. But the only way you know if, if you did good in order to pursue what you want to do is to see if you fail. For example, learning about how the jobs that they have that you actually don't even need to go to high, or you just need to finish high school, you don't need to go to college. And so I think a lot of students will see that and feel a little bit better about their, if they choose not to go to college, maybe to go to like a different, like a trade school or something. It's great to see everyone here today for the second session of the Career Leadership Forum sponsored by Duke Energy. This is really the halfway point through the uh, Career Leadership Forum sponsored by Duke Energy. And today the students are going to do some one-on-one -on -one question and answer, learning more about different occupations within Duke Energy, all the way from you know, customer service and the, and the call center, all the way to the folks that uh, work on the lines and operate the power plants. So. We're definitely, you know, extremely interested in, you know, what we do um, as a company that, you know, they don't they ask just what I do, they're asking company-wide, you know, questions, you know, getting the different perspectives from the different um, different parts of the company to see how we feel about each other and the, the paths that you can go. and. The power company does not decide what this curve looks like. Y'all do. Uh, I want them to understand that power generation is a complicated matter and it's dangerous. Uh, so we have highly trained individuals that operate the power plant. These guys are doing simulation exercises. So the jet engines are sitting in these boxes right in front of the stacks. They're hidden inside a box. They're protected from the weather by being inside that box. Okay? The live line demonstration was definitely really cool and like kept me interested the whole time because I didn't know it was going to blow up next. The live line demo was really quite something. Just seeing the effects that electricity can have on certain things is really a bit awe-inspiring in general. It shows the dangers of electricity and the importance of safety. Uh, I really think it's neat to hear from everyone that their different ways they got started and the different jobs that they have. I thought it was all really cool. I didn't really think that there were so many aspects to Duke Energy. I thought it was just like, okay, it's just like electrical, they're just dealing with power, but it's more than that. It's a team and it's a family and they all work together and many layers. And So the whole experience has really showed me how important the energy business actually is to the whole infrastructure of the city. but. In general, it's taught me a lot of things about different careers, not just in the power field, but in, in general. Um, lots of different things, like especially project management, like we learned about today. It's just awesome to know about all these different things that you can apply to your everyday life and in your school and careers later on in life. What I've learned through the process of this is that you don't necessarily have to get a four-year degree to do something great in life. You can 
go to trade school or you can just get your AA and you can still be fine and have a good career and a good like financial situation afterwards. Information. Um, I let the students present their learning and present what they accomplished. Yeah, so today is the culminating activity for a four component workshop where students have been learning about the different career pathways at Duke and today they're showing us how they're going to take the information that they've learned and impart that to other students back at their school and what's so fantastic is we're seeing all different things. We're seeing game shows, we're seeing videos, we're seeing social media campaigns, we're seeing marketing campaigns, we're seeing them you know just get up there and and present on the the various jobs that are available so it's really nice now to see how the students are taking the information that they've learned and applying it to how they're going to market this to other students. Um, and sitting through the presentations, it was so rewarding to me because um, oftentimes when we're communicating with groups, you know, we, we never have an idea of did we reach them, did they understand our position, did they learn anything about energy. Uh, by having the students present back to us, I mean, I was amazed. Uh, the knowledge base was incredible and it was very accurate. So first of all, I'm really impressed with uh, the students' presentations. Um, uh, the amount of detail and uh, the fact that they really paid attention, obviously, uh, through all the sessions uh, was uh, most impressive. Uh, I think the creativity that they showed in each of their presentations was also a high point for me. Not only did the students come up with great things today, but it was also what happened before this day, and that's the exposure of our students and school staff, our administrators, our guidance counselors, to a major industry in Pinellas County, that is of Duke Energy. So that's really the, the thing that uh, today it, it, we culminate in this activity, but really the learning that took place prior to that is really pretty special. There were fantastic presentations. It's always so impressive to see the students express what they've learned and what their takeaways are. I think I was most moved by one of our students who expressed how important it is to try and to investigate different opportunities. I've learned that it's you don't have to stress that there's only one way to do things like you have to do it that way that there's so many different opportunities out there and like I didn't even know this was an option until I came here and now since just spreading it to one person I can spread it throughout the school so peop not people like me don't stress and all know that they can go come from anywhere and go to any opportunity. The biggest thing that I learned from this is that there's no right or wrong way to succeed. Like if you get to your goal, you get there. You always have to set your goals though. You can't just say everything's going to work out the way it is. You have to want what you like want to get to. You can't just brush it off. But you can't say this is the way you have to do it. It's do, you have to choose your own paths. It can't be decided for you. <laughs> meeting with the other students and schools, but also meeting with people that actually work in the career fields. And one main thing that I've learned is that you don't need college to succeed in life. You could do a plethora of different things to be able to succeed in life and be happy. It's really helped me. It's helped me think, okay, I can do something good with my future and I'm going to be fine no matter what I do and that it's going to be okay.